Here's our first question. Is it better for a player, um, a freshman, sophomore, junior, to transfer to a, re- to a prep school in reclass, or is it better for them just to graduate their high school and do a post-grad year? And let's just assume for these conversations that we have clones of two of the exact same player, exact same grades. Let's use yes. those for our examples just so we can uh, – there's no differentiation between the two of them. Well, I'd say that the big differentiation for me is, you know, oftentimes you come to New England boarding schools, whether you're an athlete or a traditional student, so to speak, when you come from a different area, maybe a public school, they're going to want you to reclassify academically anyway to make sure that you can handle the rigors of a New England boarding school education. So for underclassmen, ninth, 10th, 11th, the reclass is probably going to be mentioned to you from the admissions office, not only the, the coaching standpoint. Um, if someone is underdeveloped physically uh, or a very young ninth grader, like my daughter, she's a 10th grader, but she really should be a ninth grader. Um, I would always suggest that, you know, to give yourself time. When someone reaches their senior year, I think it's problematic when someone goes to their senior and they say, I want to reclassify and come to, and come to school. I'll say, well, why don't you just graduate? Because being a postgrad is the same thing as being a senior uh, that next year, because you only can be allowed one extra core class as a postgrad and as a senior, you know, it's not failing to reclassify, but graduate and then move on and go to a prep school because this is my belief. I'm not sure of other coaches. I have no problem with my um, guys who graduate high school and plan on coming in as a postgrad to get a chance to go back on the circuit in the spring. If they have an opportunity and still get a college scholarship, now you don't have to worry about why I didn't graduate and all the paperwork and finishing in high school because you reclass. You've already graduated. You can move on to college if you're fortunate to get something late. So my belief is underclassmen is usually a good idea um, to reclassify if you're coming to a New England type boarding school so that you can take, make that adjustment from the academic standpoint. And then obviously from the level of play, um, it also helps as well. Seniors, I say graduate, do a postgrad year. But I've always heard, and correct me on this, two years at a prep school is better than one because it takes about a year to get to figure out the academics, the living on your own, the basketball, the speed of the game, the competition versus just one year. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I, I, for some, maybe. But I say, you know, once you get to be a senior in high school, you your clock needs to be one year back and do a postgrad year, right? You don't want to be two years back and kids start getting frustrated sometimes because you're at school with a bunch of younger kids. You're almost a man now, you know, and then um, I think I look at it almost like a junior college player when I was a college coach. We always said two months ish, the junior college player will probably make the adjustment to the speed to everything that it is for a division one program. I say the same thing, um, especially our New England um, boarding schools. Kids get to school early and either late August, or early September. And you have all that time before the season to make the adjustment both in the classroom and on the court. Now, someone who's physically, um, you know, they're delayed, you know, they're 6'8", 160 pounds, maybe it's a good idea to reclassify a senior and come do two years at prep school. So case-by-case basis? Case-by-case basis. Okay, perfect.